Alright folks, just want to spend a few minutes talking about uh, lithium-ion batteries and in this particular case I want to talk about ICRs and IMRs and what the differences between the two batteries are and then why it's important to people who want to use these batteries to power electronic devices. Um, my interests are specifically around flashlights. Um, I know that's not very exciting but uh, <laughs> that's what it is. Um, but the prevalence of vaping and vaping technology has really uh, grown lithium-ion batteries in popularity. And um, as a result, the supply of them has increased in order to meet demand. And uh, there's a little bit of a difference between what you would choose to use for a flashlight versus what you would choose uh, for a vape device. So I want to talk about a couple of different things. Uh, and the first is, is that traditionally we would use things like alkaline batteries. Um, to power electronic devices, and that's things like this Energizer AA battery. And I think that over time, you know, people say, hey, if I use this, this device a lot, a flashlight, a camera, whatever it is, I want to be able to recharge a device more than once. And then you start to see things like these um, nickel halide batteries come out on the market. This is a Gold Zero uh, AA. And uh, what I think is interesting is, is that in, in many cases, these rechargeable batteries can store more energy than the alkaline batteries. And when you talk about that, you talk about milliamp hours, and that is the measure that you use for how much energy a battery can store. Um, and then we're also going to talk about amps, which are how fast a battery can, I don't know if dissipates the right word, but can produce energy, right? And so when you start to talk about some of these different batteries, What's interesting is, is that this Goal Zero um, AA battery is somewhere a little over 2,000 milliamps per hour, and then this um, rechargeable uh, 16340 um, is, is less than that. It's at six, 650 milliamps per hour. But this has a higher amperage than this battery, and as a result, it can make a flashlight glow brighter than a battery that actually has more energy in there. So when you think about it, think about the conversation in terms of, you know, a gallon of water. A gallon of water will be poured out of a bucket faster than it will be a bottle. And so just think about the battery's ability to be able to disperse energy. Um, and then why it's important for this conversation is, is that in the case of these two 26650 batteries, um, one may have more power than the other, right, more milliamps, and stored within the battery, but one can express that faster or dissipate that faster, and as a result, it can make a flashlight glow a little brighter. Uh, these are the the differences between an IMR and an ICR is really around the chemistry that's inside the battery. And when you take a look at this battery, it's clearly labeled an IMR. And that I is actually an L, and this stands for a lithium manganese rechargeable battery. An ICR, which isn't marked on the battery at all. Is stands for it's a lithium cobalt cobalt um, rechargeable battery, and then here's some Nikkor batteries, IMR, non IMR. And so I really just wanted to talk about that. When you have an IMR battery, it measures dispersion and charge. Oh, I'm having trouble here. Measures dispersion in, um, in terms of, of of amperage. And so when you see a battery, it might say 20 amps and 50 amps. And what that means is, is 20 amps continuous discharge rate and 50 amps at a, at a pulse rate. Now, pulse rate is more important for vapes than it is for flashlights, or it's more important for cameras than it is for flashlights. When you have a flashlight, you want to make sure that you're delivering the same amount of current in a continuous fashion to maintain a consistent brightness. But when you use things like a like a, a camera that has a flash bulb, or use things like a vape that need to be activated when you push a button to create heat to take I guess it's vape juice and turn it into smoke or, or clouds or whatever the hell it's called, you're really more concerned about how much current you can disperse during a specific interval. The problem is is that there is no defined interval. So some people may list a pulse rate. Uh, at 50 amps, meaning 5 seconds, it could be 2 seconds, it could be 6 seconds, who knows? So different manufacturers measure it different, so it's not really a valid um, valid measure. But the chemistry of the batteries 
really impact how much amperage the battery is rated with. So again, so here's a IMR battery and it's rated at 7 amps. And so where this became interesting for me is, is that I recently bought a flashlight and I did a video on that. And it was really based around, you can put IMR batteries or ICR batteries in flashlights that are not optimized to take advantage of a higher amperage. And as a result, batteries with the same milliamps per hour may last you longer or shorter duration. And it really just depends on the, the flashlight's ability to consume current at a higher rate. And if that flashlight can do that, then it will glow brighter. So I, ha I have a flashlight that did a video, it's on Nikkor EC11, that's been optimized for IMR. And as a result, I can run a battery in there at a higher brightness, but for a lower duration. And that makes sense when you talk about things, when you say that, uh, you know, when you pour water out of a bucket versus pouring it out of a bottle, it goes faster when you pour it out of the bucket. The same thing holds true for a battery that has a higher amperage rate. And also, I just have some other batteries in here just to just to take a look at them. Like these are eighteen six fifties, and they have a different voltage than maybe two stacked batteries of the same the same size, right? And so you have to also take into consideration your device and how much voltage that device is designed to operate off of, whether it's a flashlight or a vape or anything like that. Right, so if you have a, a flashlight that says, hey, I can run off of an 18650 or I can run off of two 16340s, you want to take a look at how many volts, because these are about the same size. So just because the size is similar doesn't mean that the, the batteries are compatible. So these are about uh, 3.7 volts, and they can charge up to 4.1. So when I put this battery into a flashlight, it's really going to run off of about 4.1 to 3.6 volts, somewhere right around there. If I stack two of these together in series, I'm all of a sudden talking about 8.2 or you know somewhere around 7.5 volts that, that's being generated. And that can impact the performance of your device as well. I really didn't have anything else other than that that I wanted to cover. I just wanted to talk a little bit about IMR, ICR. And really the difference is, is that one burns brighter for a shorter duration and one can burn longer at a less of a power interval. And so that's really it. I just thought I'd do a video. If you guys have any questions, I can try to answer them. I'm not exactly an expert in this particular field and I'm, I'm trying to learn as I go. So any comments or feedback is appreciated. Thanks, guys.